Have you ever felt empty, worthless or hopeless? Have you ever been so dumb that you lost interest in everything you do? If you've answered yes for these questions, get to know whether you are just sad or facing the second most common mental health disorder in this world. So kindly watch this video till the end and share it with your friends. First of all, before saying I am depressed or I am in depression, we have to know what is depression. Depression is a persistent mood disorder, which is a major cause of disability. It can affect how you feel, how you think and how you behave. And it can also lead to variety of emotional and physical problems. Now let's see other important things about depression. Around 264 million people are affected by this. Women have high risk of getting into depression than men due to social pressure and hormonal imbalance. Countries like Brazil, China, USA and India are having the highest rate of depression. It is pathetic to know that the country with the highest suicidal rate is India. Ideally, for every 8,000 to 10,000 population, we need at least one psychiatrist. But sadly, in India, we have only one psychiatrist for 2 lakh population. Even though depression is the most common and dangerous disorder in the world, most of the people don't understand depression clearly. If someone has a physical pain, it's easily visible. But if someone is having mental disorders like depression, it's not visible and people might not understand it. Now, we are getting into the important part of the video that is understanding the basic difference between sadness and depression. Depression is a mental illness. Sadness is an emotion. It's okay to get sad. Depression can be due to genetic vulnerability or due to life events. Life events such as loss of a loved one might cause depression. Sadness is more like a response to an event. If you get failed in a class test, you may get sad, but you won't get depressed. <laughs> depression disables you from doing your day-to-day -day activities. Sadness don't affect your daily life activity. Even though you are sad, you can have your proper diet and regular sleep. Depression needs professional therapy. Time heals the sadness. Other symptoms include Depressed mood all day Lack of interest in day-to-day -day activities Loss of more than 5% of body weight per month Increased or decreased appetite nearly every day Insomnia or hypersomnia Characteristic feature would be terminal insomnia which is early morning awakening Fatigue Feeling worthless or inappropriate guilt Lack of concentration And recurrent thoughts of suicidal attempts So to easily know whether you are just sad or depressed Check whether the above mentioned symptoms are occurring continuously for at least 2 weeks If yes, you have these symptoms more than 2 weeks, you might have depression positive If no, you are just positive <laughs> To understand depression in much more simple manner, we have to know about EMI. EMI means energy, mood and interest. People suffering from depression usually experience the lack of at least two out of these three throughout the day for more than two weeks. For example, during exam time, if you're tired, you may have the mood and interest to study, but you wouldn't have the energy to continue. If your least favorite subject is the exam, you may have the energy and mood to study, but you lack the interest as you don't like the subject. If there's a lot of time to study for the exam, you may have energy and interest to study, but you wouldn't have the mood. In depression, even though you would be physically fit, it might be your favorite subject, and the exam may be on the next day, you wouldn't study because you may lack EMI. Coming to the end part of the video, how to get out of this darkness? I mean the treatment. It includes two parts. What are the steps that I can take if I feel depressed? What are the steps that we can take if our close ones feel depressed? If your loved ones are depressed, don't just hear, listen to them. Don't just advise, understand and support them. Don't be judgmental, accept them as how they are. If I am feeling depressed, the first step would be to acknowledge it, accepting that I am feeling depressed. The second step would be Seek for help. Talk to your loved ones. Search for professional therapist. You 
can exercise, have a healthy diet and do meditation. Or you can have a light therapy. Just by standing in sunlight for few minutes can make you feel better. And most importantly, share your feelings.